Hello everyone, um, welcome to Pop Night. So, with all the craziness going on, if you've watched my videos, I've had an interesting week. Um, just a recap, still still deal dealing with uh, my car wreck. Um, the other driver, which I've looked up on Facebook, turns out it looks like he might be like a little teenage street racer, just how his Facebook profile looks like. But yeah, he's claiming that uh, it's not his fault, that it's mine. It's my fault that I got rear-ended and ran off the road by him. Um, hopefully I'll get some more of that figured out. I'm not sure at this moment. No, like Heidi texted me. Sorry. Oh, Snapchat at me. Not texted. Um, not that Heidi watches my videos. Uh, <laughs> but, so like I said, dealing with that. So I thought one of the best ways, just since like I said, it's, it's been a very stressful week on me dealing with my insurance, dealing with police, dealing with everyone. <laughs> I'm um, dealing with work, per se, too. God, oh, my gosh. Um, I thought, what better way to get back into the things, uh, get back into it and get out, you know, change my mind. Let's talk about Pops. Who doesn't love Funko Pops, right? Uh, though, as, as I've talked many times before, these are my favorite. Um, I wanted to talk about, so one thing a few people have noticed on my back wall, I have a huge, there's, there's a couple collection that I'm trying to get. Um, one of the goals right along this wall here, uh, I have all. So I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to collect all the Captain America pops right now. Um, so we got over here. Um, uh, regular standard bearded Captain America. And actually, let me here. I won't even do that. Too. I'll make it a little easier. Let's use this tripod for good. Right. Oh my gosh. So we got bearded Captain America. I actually think the 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 art is actually pretty amazing on it. I think they did a good detail on it, which is pretty hard to say since a lot of times they seem to not do so great but i think it was awesome i love the beard uh, my girlfriend actually made the joke why is it uh captain america and thor are starting to look a lot alike they are they really are uh, but that's why he has the eye patch now right i mean but so i got that one that's my, one of my more recent ones obviously right next to him i actually got the glow in the dark civil warrior um hot topic very very happy it's a uh, um it's it's a favorite of mine well it's part of the Captain Americas. Got the standard Captain America. Gotta love him, right? The old style, regular. You got the Captain America 75th anniversary. Now, technically, this one, this style, technically, if I remember correctly, I thought it was supposed to be like an Amazon exclusive, but I don't think that's really what happened. You know, whatever. Um, and then you have the only at Cole's 75th anniversary, which has the photon, the little photon shield back there um, for Captain America. Kind of cool like that one um as we move over i'm gonna slide over here we have captain america from the tw so it's 2017 summer ex summer convention exclusive that right there is like bucky barnes as captain america so pretty cool pretty awesome style right next as you can see i have two of the same but they're a little different so this is the limited edition emerald city comic-con from 2017 this is the captain america the first avenger from the first captain america movie my next room is the same exact pop however i got picked it up at a hot topic in north bend the day comic-con started because there was a shared exclusive so i thought it was kind of cool getting two different stickers um right next to it you see i have a age of ultron captain america him punching out with his shield actually real that's a cool outfit even though my favorite outfit i've talked about is the winter soldier outfit but this is still really cool uh ugh, just moving over here it's the gamestop exclusive captain america from uh civil war i think that's a pretty awesome one him throwing a punch out there and then the marvel um collector's corp exclusive two pack of cap and iron man i think that's also awesome um sure there's a couple variant packs like i don't have obviously the regular civil war one which i'll get to i obviously don't have the fye exclusive like five pack from the civil war um and then the other ones i don't have i don't have the so obviously i don't have the right standard winter soldier one need to oh oh i almost forgot one i actually have not another one sorry i actually have this one i found this at like a garage sale kind of thing busted but i got it for like two dollars worth it but i need to fix it i haven't figured out how to fix it yet but the first avenger captain america as well so pretty awesome even though his head's all fucked up but uh, i don't have the winter soldier yet need to get that 
Barnes & Noble had a black and white Winter Soldier. Need to get that. Um, Hot Topic had a glow in the dark Winter Soldier. Still need to get that. Um, there was a Kamikaze exclusive Captain America without his helmet. Need to get that. There was a San Diego Comic-Con ex shared exclusive of Age of Ultron Captain America with Unmasked. Um, there is a... I forget where the exclusive is, but there's a, a metallic Captain America. That one's really hard to get. I want to say they only made like four or 500 of him. I really need to find a way to get it in my hands, but it won't be anytime soon. I'm too poor, but I would love to have him. Um, I think there's maybe one other one, but essentially I'm trying to get all the caps. Uh, that'd be a huge, huge uh, deal for me. Um, Captain America is probably one of my favorite uh, superheroes of all time. Even before the movies, I loved Captain America in the comics, uh, especially reading Civil War. Um, it made me really respect him just for the simple fact of everyone, everyone always said Captain America is a lot like Superman, you know, uh, essentially a Boy Scout. And I don't see that at all. I actually see Superman and Captain America as very, very different people. And it's actually one of the reasons I love Marvel. Um, DC goes to the extremes, which is not a bad thing. They just go to the extremes for emotions and feelings and stuff like that. So... Superman is supposed to be the epitome of good and great and kind and generosity. However, that's why in the show, like, the one little thing can make him crack and he'll become, you know, a tyrant, a, a, a justice lord, all this shit. But, uh, no, wrong, not, not bad Mountain Superman at all, I'm not. But uh, Cap I, was never really a Boy Scout. He had the Boy Scout qualities, and sure, he acted like a Boy Scout, and sure, he might have been a Boy Scout. But um, the Civil War proved he wasn't uh simply because he stood up for what was what he believed was right even when everyone told him he was wrong it wasn't until he saw he had lost the popular vote that he gave up only because he didn't want anyone else to get hurt but love captain america um also as i've talked a hundred times before i'm a huge power ranger fan Huge Power Ranger fan. I sadly don't. I'm too poor, so I don't have any of the Legacy Morphers. Sorry, I'm trying to fix the phone here. Urgh, my tripod. There we go. That works a little better. Um, so I have a huge collection of the Power Rangers. You know, we got the movie ones right up up here. So we got the pink, yellow, blue, black, and red. Even the toys are exclusive. Uh, two pack of the red and green. Um, then up above each one, you see I put the Morphine exclusives. The GameStop Morphine exclusive, so those are the awesome Morphine exclusives of each person. All the way to the top there. Yeah. And then as we scroll over, we have the Walmart Alpha 5. I was really happy to get that. I have the Action Pose White Ranger, which has Saba, which is really cool. But then I have the original White Ranger. Very happy about that. Expensive now. I have the Green Ranger. Um, sadly, I don't have the Metallic or the Glow in the Dark Green Ranger, nor do I have the Glow in the Dark White Ranger. I need to get my hands on those. As you can see, so I, uh, so over here we kind of what? We're kind of the movie red, movie red, movie, I uh, still got TV show red. The original Red Ranger. Above that, as you can see, I have my signed from Steve Cardina's uh, Action Pose Metallic Hot Topic Exclusive Red Ranger. The regular Action Pose Red Ranger. The FYE Dragon Shield Red Ranger. So as you can tell, I have a lot of Red Rangers. Then below that, as you can see, I have David Yost's signature uh, Blue Ranger from GameStop, which has the Metallica, which has the Wolf. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, so they started doing some of these Metallics uh, just as different places. But one really dope thing, especially if you're a Power Ranger fan, is at the center of the coin. So all of them, if you look, uh, will have... The regular coin. So the Red Ranger has the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Pink Ranger has the uh, Pterodactyl. Blue Ranger has Triceratops. Black Ranger has Mastodon. And Yellow Ranger has the Sabertooth Tiger. However, so in the Metallic Pink Ranger, which she is up here, if you look very closely, let me see. Actually, I'll pull her down because she's right there at the corner. Why not pull her down? Let me see if it shows this. So... If you look really close to her symbol, let me see if I can, on her chest there, I don't know if you can see it, it's actually not a pterodactyl, it's the uh, the crane, which in the movie, and later on with the nin ninja stuff, they uh, that's what they got. 
So that was really cool that they so they did that for the fans. Um, the metallic yellow ranger. Well, actually, so there's technically two metallic. I have the yellow ranger and then the metallic game only at GameStop. But there was actually a gold yellow ranger. I didn't get my hands on her. The gold yellow ranger someone said actually has the bear on it, so I need to check that out. That'd be dope. Um, on this metallic blue ranger, he actually has the wolf, so I thought that was cool. And same thing on the metallic red ranger, it's the ape. Um, and like I said, if you've seen the movie, uh, if you've watched the show, you know that. And it's one of those things that they didn't announce. It wasn't like Funko was like, oh, variant coin. No, they didn't tell you. just said, oh, variant color. And don't be wrong, if the, in the last, like... So the last 20 episodes, they did get metallic suits for a few t for a few episodes. It was a rare metallic power to help them combat the evils that were upon them. But that was awesome. I, you know, the, the coins, that was something for fans. And you know that that had to have been designed by a fan. That was just awesome. Amazing. Loved it. Um, what else is behind me that's really cool? I do, I'm a huge Gears of War fan. I'm kind of sad that I have a very small Gears section. I plan on getting more. Um, I have over here, as you can see, I got a Swarm Sniper, which was actually, even though it doesn't say exclusive at GameStop, it was, because it was exclusively in a box, which came with the Swarm Sniper. Um, this Atlas Pilot down here, um, and Titanfall, and then it came with a little keychain of JD Phoenix. Exclusively at GameStop, it was a, yeah. Yeah, that was GameStop's first mystery box, which I'm going to tell you right now was a stupid, stupid thing. Why? Because, so a couple other stores started doing mystery boxes, right? You could buy this box and you won't know what you're going to get. Sometimes they'll give you hints of ideas of what you might get, which gives you more reason to want to buy the box. No, 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 no. Not GameStop. No. We're going, the first time we get a box, well, I don't know, if was that the first time or maybe that was the second time? Because I remember Black Friday, so maybe that box might have been their second time. Because I know Black Friday they got pop boxes that had mystery pops in it, and that's why people were like, whoa, I'm going to jump all over it. But that, bo that box, like a, a, like a day or two before it comes out, they opened a, a reveal, and I said, oh, all the boxes are going to be the same, same, except for they also threw in two mystery minis, and you don't know what you're going to get for the mystery minis. And you, it was like Five Nights at Freddy. Who gives a shit about Five Nights at Freddy? I'm sorry, I don't. But, um, yeah, I was like, why did you guys do a reveal and say, oh, all the boxes are the same? Because then why would anyone want to get, because they know it's in the box now. And here's the thing. Sure, a GameStop, uh, you know, a Gears of War fan is probably going to pick it up and possibly a Titanfall fan. Sure. If you're not one of those, you're not. And Titanfall, sadly, didn't have a huge following. As much as Titanfall was an amazing game, I like how Cthulhu is back there, like, creeping behind the pillow. Oh, my God, that's kind of terrifying but i love it that's cool um but yeah titan fog had a like terrible following which made me sad because titan fog was amazing but you know it is what it is but uh i actually another one i actually really disappointed so i have this jd phoenix this best buy exclusive which is has the swarm blood on him which is supposed to glow in the dark which actually really doesn't sadly but um i thought this was going to be worth a lot of money uh, not just that. I didn't buy just because of that because I never buy pop just because of that. I bought the pop because I thought it looked really cool. I'm a huge Gears fan. I had JD on it. And I was like, okay, cool. Plus, so this was Best Buy's very first exclusive pop. It's the first time they came in. Now they've had, they've had you know, Street Fighter pops. They've got Tekken pops. They've, they've even got, you know, Overwatch. Mostly video games, as you can tell. But they've had pops now exclusive. Even Dragon Ball Z ones. And they... Apparently, like I said, the only, the only at Best Buy JD Phoenix is, is not worth anything, really. And it's kind of sad, because it's their first, it was their first exclusive, so you would think it would be worth something. Um, and then, as you can see up here, I have the regular Marcus Phoenix, and then next to him is the 2016 Summer Convention. And I actually really love this one. It has him featuring the Gold Lancer, and him holding uh, the head of a Locust. So I think that's really cool. There was another variant to that, which is not a shared exclusive, and I plan on trying to get it one day, but that one's worth a lot of money. Um, it ha it's him not with a gold lancer, but with a black lancer. And to me, that's that's awesome. I mean, the gold lancer is really cool too, but the black lancer, oh my gosh. It's more, I don't know, something about, I'm sorry guys, the f this thing, I'm, tr I'm trying to use this stick. Use the stick. Um, what a really cool. Um, 
I, I, I have a fair amount of Star Wars. Um, I have all the My Chemical Romance. I'm a huge My Chemical Romance. But it's sad because I don't really talk about it. It's, oh, it's a huge... It's only four pops. There's four Gerard Way pops. I'm wrong. I love Gerard Way. But, like, really there's only two pops. So there's... Uh, red, why I talk about it? Let's see. Um, as you can see, there's Gerard Way, Ger Gerard Way red tie, but then over here, Ger Revenge Gerard Way. Okay, same pop. The difference. There's a mask and color. Okay, Black Page, Black Parade Gerard Way, Skeleton Gerard Way, face paint. Same thing. Just totally. Which, don't me wrong, everyone, yes, every, you know, if you're a pop collector, you already know this is Funko's biggest, you know, deepest, darkest secret is they just do variants. And if you don't believe me, go look at Batman. Go look at Deadpool. They love variants. I do sadly have a few Batman pops, but... Not because of the reason you think. And my Batman pops are actually on the floor. My DC, yeah. I recently, as, as I've talked about before, I recently did a re-edit. The whole bottom row is uh, is DC. Uh, I got the Suicide Squad. Um, got some Harley Quinns. I love Harley Quinn. And then over here, so we have Thomas Wayne Flashpoint Batman, which, oh yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Hot Topic exclusive. Batman Beyond, which is super awesome. The Arkham Knight, which was a gift, and that's awesome. Um, the, the old classic Batman, DC Batman, that's cool. And then I have the Loot Crate exclusive Joker Batman, which was given to me as a gift as well. Um, I, there's all kind. I mean, and Marvel, if you haven't, if you haven't been able to tell from this wall, Marvel is probably my biggest actual section because, you know, I got Doctor Strange, a couple of different variants. I got, uh. Some X Men pops with like three different versions of Logan, including Wolverine on his motorcycle. I got Ghost Rider on his motorcycle. I got two Deadpool pops. I got Morbius. I got some Venom, Punisher, Blade. Tons of different Spider Mans. Uh, I have Thor's. I got uh, Hella. I got Heimdall. Cause you, how can you not have Heimdall? Um, yeah, Chrome, Chrome, Colossus right there. Um, Squirrel Girl, Eric Killmonger, uh, you know, even a giant man. Oh, yeah, I actually just, just got the Hulkbuster, and that's kind of cool because I already had the Marvel exclusive Hulkbuster from the convention, Age of Ultron. That was awesome. Not convention, but, yeah, Marvel. Marvel Collector's Corp, which was from the very first Marvel Collector's Corp. But then I have right here the new and approved Infinity War. Oh. Hulkbuster, super super cool. Um, very much love that. Um, so oh, I actually recently had a pop skyrocket. Um, so I have a couple Walking Dead pops up here, which I used to be a really big Walking Dead fan, but I fell out of it recently. Not recently, two or three years ago. <laughs> um, I've been re debating on if I ever want to jump back into it. I feel bad that I just abandoned the show, but I got bored. What are you gonna do? But let's see. Angle the pop this way better. So I got Headless Herschel, a 2014 convention exclusive. So that was cool. I got that a Hot Topic. Injured Daryl Dixon, which has the blood splatter. Hot Topic exclusive. Biker Daryl Dixon, which has blood ex blood splatter, which is PX preview exclusive. Daryl Dixon in the poncho, which that one's about 110 bucks right now. That's kind of cool. And it has the old black Hot Topic sticker, which is kind of cool. Um, now this one right here, which if you guys are Walking Dead people and Pop people, you know, Zombie Merle Dixon has rose to over $200. And it's funny because I actually bought that Pop just because I thought it looked cool. And I bought it at Spencer's. Yeah. Spencer's. People like Pops at Spencer's. For a short time they did. Um, just all kinds of random. I mean, I'm a big Trekkie guy. So I got like almost all the Star Trek Next Generation Pops. Everything, everyone but uh, Diana of Troy, because, sorry, she was kind of useless. I know. Blasphemy. Uh, even, you know, the cutest of Boog. The cutest! Um, I got all kinds of fantastic pops, guys. I got some Cthulhu's. Gotta love those Cthulhu's. Uh, I got, you know, Tron. Who doesn't fucking love Tron? 
Alien. I love Alien. Gizmo, the cutest, most adorable thing ever. Um, yeah, Clark Griswold. I loved it. I found this Clark Griswold one at a Walmart, and I just fell in love with it. I just love how he's holding the little moose cup with eggnog in it. I love that. Uh, funniest movie ever in the holidays. Um, Ghostface Scream is one of my favorite slasher movies. It's not that scary, but it's amazing. Because, uh, come on, Wes Craven, because you can't, make, can't go wrong. I mean, even Nightmare on Elm Street right there. Got the regular Freddy and even the game stuff. Uh, some 8 bit um, NES Freddy next to it. The Jason. Get the Jasons in there. Gotta get the Jasons. Got myself a Goldfinger James Bond because James. I need to get more 007, hopefully. But James Bond is like one of my favorite movie series. So that was cool. Um, got tons of Star Wars ones over there. But my Star Wars ones are a bit sporadic. They are. I have, you know, a Scorpio um, Funko Pop because I'm a Scorpio. Might as well. Um, I actually have the Hot Topic guy. I don't know if you guys saw that there. That's an interesting one. If you guys don't know much about him, he's a really cool one. Um, he was actually never sold in stores. He was given to all of the uh, staff of Hot Topic in 2000... I want to say it was like 2000. 14 or something like that maybe 2015 i don't remember i have to look that up but uh i found that at a second hand store in tri-cities and it was like 30 bucks i bought it right away i was like no no i i need that he was never sold in store and i'm a, i i shop at hot topic all the time so i used to make a joke after that came out i was like you know radio shack could stay in business if they started selling pops all they have to do is make an like all try and hurry up and use every penny they have to buy like the exclusive pops. Like get make make a Radio Shack guy. And actually, I would pay for a Radio Shack guy. Why? Because Radio Shack. I used to love going in the Radio Shack. Why? Because they had something for everyone. You could not walk into a Radio Shack and not walk out and think well, there was something I liked in there. Whether it was cool remote control cars, whether it was cell phones, there's TV, whether it's gear, whether it's music, they had everything. Um, and then it just, you know, faded in the background because of places like Amazon and Best Buy. Um, and I'm not trying to trash talk those places either. I just, I liked Radio Shack and it's kind of gone downhill. It's almost extinct. It's just about extinct. There's still some out there. You just got to look. Um, got my Optimus Prime Hot Topic exclusive holding the sword from Transformers. Got my Hot Topic 20, uh, what is it? 25th anniversary glow in the dark crow. Uh, which is really cool because I like the crow. Can't wait to see the remake. Um, like I said, my my Star Wars is very sporadic. Got some Rogue ones. I got some Force Awakens. I got some. I don't think I've bought anything yet from the Last Jedi, have I? Not seeing anything, but there's a couple different Luke Skywalkers because who can't go wrong there? Ah, I apologize, guys. Oh, I'm tired been a long day um a lot of pops a lot of pops coming in a lot of pops going um oh of course I get the prize possession one of them down here oh, crawl down here the giant size hulk i'm actually gonna try keyword trying since i'm talking to you guys here <laughs> tripod work <laughs> um i'm gonna try this thing is dust. There we go. To get, so Target is coming out with a giant size Thanos and a giant size Porg. Uh, Melissa and I, my girlfriend, love the Porg, so we really want to get that giant size Porg. Um, we, I, it's funny because I really thought the Porg was going to be something stupid. But two things I loved about the Porg. One was, if you actually, if you, I don't know if you've actually read why they created the Porg. I thought it was cool. So the, where they filmed Star Wars The Last Jedi, there was a lot of birds and they said well instead of trying to scrub out all of the birds that were flying around in the islands they thought why not create their own bird and just cover the birds with that so that's what they did they they just created their own species of bird and just covered all the like regular seagulls and shit that are out there with a pork so it made it easier for them and it was i think it was a pretty cool idea um plus the porgs were so stupid that they were they were great. I mean, the scene one of the scenes I laughed almost cried laughing was seeing 
Chewbacca getting ready to eat a roasted porg. And all the porgs are staring at him. Like, and he, you know, he grunts at them and they all fly away except for one. One just keeps staring like, you're not going to eat him, are you? And, and Chewbacca's like, run. Bird finally flies away, but he goes to eat it and he just can't bring himself to eat it. And he throws the food to the side like, ah, oh, damn. Uh, and then, and I love that also they get on board the Millennium Falcon and you see like one point they're tearing up the seat and it was awesome. Oh, or so the lightsaber when you know right at the opening scenes, the lightsaber is handed to Luke and Luke just kind of hits it out of her hand, goes flying right. Well, when she goes to retrieve it, there's a porg looking down the end of it, the tip where this lightsaber comes out, and there's another porg hitting like pecking at the uh the like the handle to turn into the button and i was like oh no are they gonna kill a porg with the light are they gonna spear it and uh, luckily they didn't but i thought that would have been so hilarious but i was just like oh no it's gonna happen no don't kill the porg <laughs> they basically were like the equivalent of a dodo bird um but yeah, that and the Thanos, they both come out in Target. I don't They're supposed to both come out this month, but this month is going to be so tight on bills dealing with the car, dealing with other oh, two movies coming out. Well, actually, there's three movies coming out this month I want to see, but I'm only going to probably try for two in the theaters. I'll be lucky to see one. Um, coming up first is going to be Pacific Rim Uprising. Why they don't have Pacific Rim Pops is beyond my knowledge. Um, but Pacific Rim is fantastic. One of the, I think they're it's amazing movies. So if you don't think they're amazing, fuck off. Um, next is Isle of Dogs. Um, uh, was it Wes Anderson? I think in his name or yeah, Wes Anderson. He's made some interesting movies. I haven't loved them all, but they, I've liked them. So I'm I'm interested to see how this Isle of Dogs comes out. And then after that, Ready Player One. I don't have any pops yet for Ready Player One, but I might pick up a few. Even before the movie comes out, just, you know, because they look cool. But I'm really hopeful for Ready Player One. Um, oh. It's a cool concept, and I'm very excited to see what happens. So, I guess we'll wait and see, but it's Ready Player One. Yeah, that's, I'm hoping it's coming. And of course, next month, what is next month? Avengers. Yeah, we got we got a lot of coming out because we got Avengers next month. What is it? The month after that, you got like Solo and um, coming out soon is also like Deadpool and there's a bunch of movies coming out. So it's gonna be a crazy, crazy summer, I'm sure. Well, it'll be crazy because I'll be sad and I'm depressed because I can't watch any of them. I'll be too broke. Um, we'll wait and see what happens. Um, other than that, um, I thank you guys for watching. Um, hello, you know, fellow Funko fanatics. If you guys have some really cool pops, I'd love to watch your guys' videos. Show me some of your favorite pops. Show me some of your cool, awesome pops. Uh, show me what you've done with them. Um, if you have any questions about anything on the pop wall, if you have, if you want to know anything at all, like, you know, what's your favorite pop or what's your most memorable pop or what's, you know, your guilty pleasure on the wall, you know, something, something crazy like that or, you know, what pop have you given up? Just let me know. Um, I would love to hear it. Um, tell me in the comments or please send me in, you know, do a video and tag me. Do something, okay? Because I want to make sure people are watching. I want to know you guys are out there. And, uh, like I said, I appreciate it. And people know Funko is a huge part of my life just because, um, of a lot of reasons. And if you want to know those reasons, feel free to ask. But just let me know you guys are out there. And, uh, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys have a fantastic night. And as always, stay classy.